get ready to laugh out loud as we bring you the top 10 funniest animal auditions on America's Got Talent. From a chicken who can play the piano to a dog that can sing, these talented animals will have you in stitches. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we count down the most hilarious auditions in AGT history. Got it? She's gonna play the keyboard and she'll play Mark the Beautiful. Are you serious? When the ladies who brought Jaku to the stage told the judges she plays the piano, they couldn't believe her. Watch Simon scoff in disbelief at the revelation. Look at all her nervous in front of so many people. Poor thing. Aw, seems like nobody even believes she can play the piano. Why are you booing her? Just let her adjust. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Wait a minute, she's playing it. You've got to be kidding me. That's really impressive. Even Simon gives her a standing ovation. Oscar has a very unique talent. He can sing. When he if the piano playing chicken wasn't enough to impress you, here's a singing dog. No, I'm not kidding you guys. Just wait and watch, okay? He's not exactly Adele, but Oscar's funny and cute at the same time with his long, melodious howls. Wow, Simon seems impressed, and he's easily not swayed, mind you. Looks like we have a world-class talent on our hands, wouldn't you say, Simon? If you're more of a cat person than a dog person, then I've got just the clip for you. As Simon looks towards the stage ready for disappointment, this cat gives him quite a spectacle. Look at it make that spectacular jump. The cat starts rolling the barrel and looks to the audience like, look at me, I'm doing it. As soon as it's done with that bit, another cat joins the performance. I don't know about you, but I lost it at that point. There's something so hilarious and unbelievable about two cats jumping over each other. If you think that was crazy, wait till you see the next few stunts. Well, I'm not surprised everyone's on their feet. That performance was out of this world. My name is Sarah Hoft. This here, this is Echo. Good luck, Echo. What's your name? Echo. Can you say hello? Hello. How about hi? Hi. Echo the and parrot converses with its hola, caregiver hola, like it's human. Hurry. Hurry. Surely a lot of training went into the performance, but something about the parrot's personality makes the act that much more entertaining. What do we have there? Did you see a chicken? Did you see a Just when you think the act can't get more ridiculous, Echo starts mimicking the voices of all these animals. And audiences can't help but laugh their hearts out. He tops it off with a song that would put a cuckoo bird to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new sword slinging pirate in town, and his name's Hero the Dog. Look at how masterfully he dodges the sword slashes of his human partner. That's not all. He has a few more impressive tricks up his sleeve. They trade blows a few more times, but ultimately, the dog pulls out this move. And just like that, it's over for Hero's caregiver. He's the clear winner of the duel. Good boy. Just as the curtains are drawn to the duo's performance, things take a turn for the worst. Fantastic. Looks Thank like so they're much. not going to make uh, it to the next round. I don't. Okay. I don't. That's okay. So I'm going to say no. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to say no. What? Both of you. Trust me on this. I saw something you didn't see. But here comes Simon to their rescue. He actually manages to convince Howie to turn his no okay, into a yes and send these what. guys no into the next God. round. So I'm going to. I feel so bad. This is emotional. I'll change it to a yes. Mm. 
I've had enough of the dogs, said nobody ever. That's why here's another dog performance for you. We are going to do dance. <laughs> Carrie's caregiver has a hilarious story about why he chose to dance with Carrie. Have a listen. What got you into dancing with Carrie? I danced uh, as a boy. My ex-wife did not <laughs> dance with me. So you dance with Carrie. <laughs> As soon as the song comes on, Carrie jumps on her feet and starts tangoing around with her caregiver. The performance is a perfect mix of funny and cute, and manages to get quite a few laughs from the judges. Carrie has an adorable smile on her face all throughout their performance, which only adds to her charm. The big question now is, does the Saucer duo make it through the next stage? I'm gonna say yes. Sorry, I'm gonna give you a no. What? I'm sorry. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna say yes. It has all come down to Howie now. Well, looks like Carrie will live to dance another day. Yes! Hailing from the sewers of New York City, Hanta the Rat made quite an impression on the judges. Previous entries on our list featured only the animals showing off their talents, but in this case, the caregiver of this rat was quite talented as well. As the rat made its way through the demanding obstacle course, the lady accompanying it mixes things up when she does this. Will the rat make it all the way across her legs? I don't know about you, but I would definitely visit Cirque de Sewer again. You've seen a singing dog and rat who does circus tricks, but what about this math wizard? Mia, count to four. Not only Mia knows how to count, but she can manage to show her skill off by barking as many times as you tell her. Stopping on the dot. Oh, that was 16. What number is this? That's not all. She can kick it up the notch. Her owner brings out flashcards with numbers written on them, and Mia barks as many times to the judge's dismay and disbelief. I'll be honest, this act is much more impressive to me than the circus tricks. I mean, this dog actually understands numbers. Hey, you can say good evening. Mark and Winnie's performance does not get off on the right foot. You speak English? But Mark keeps insisting Wendy to talk, and then she finally does. It's my night. <laughs> Come on, hey, say something. No. Is that a talking dog, or is my mind playing tricks on me again? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. Francais. Okay. Some, like me, watch in disbelief, while the rest just can't stop laughing. Where well, we we'll listen to you? Meow. <laughs> Music, please. We're gonna sing something for you, all right? Okay. D don't look at me. D look at the audience like that. Feelings. Come on. Feelings. Feelings. Oh my God. <laughs> this dog managed to check both items on Simon's checklist, as it could not only meow like a cat, but sing as well. Have a look at the climax of Mark and Wendy's performance. Okay, to be fair, this pair had nothing incredible to show off, but their performance is funny either way. How exactly? You've got to see it to understand. What's his problem with me? I love dogs. Max has a bone to pick with the show's host, and every time his performance is about to begin, he runs off after the host again. Are we friends? There we are, there we are. Come, come, come. Good boy, good boy, good boy. What's his problem? Come here. 
Their cat and mouse chase is much more humorous than whatever Max's caregiver had planned for sure. If you're anything like me, then you probably want to see more of these furry folks. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Check out our other video, Funniest Animal Auditions on AGT.